So this is the second part of the video uh, on still life flowers and uh, processing them to black and white with the black and white artisan pro panel. Again this is a calla lily flower that I shot uh, also something like 10 years ago and I'm going to start with the uh, with the neutral conversion as always that's the recommended uh, black and white conversion so that's that I'm going to merge it down so this is going to be my reference layer uh, with which I'm going to compare all the subsequent layers with all the adjustments so and uh, also again uh, with this flower I'm going to go with the micro zone adjustments mainly and not so much with the advanced adjustments simply because I want to keep all the details that you see in here intact so uh, for that it is better to to work with the micro zone adjustments so first of all i'm going to darken it just globally so i'm going to start off with the uh, with the dark stones i think they are going to be the mid shadows somewhere like that i think i'm going to take a few samples at 26 30 so i'm going to start with that so that's uh, zone number one okay, i'm going to activate that and i'm going to roughly select it like this just the flower Okay, you don't have to be that accurate and just click on medium darken. I always uh, uh, recommend to go with either subtle darken or medium darken. Don't go with strong darken at, uh, at once. That's my recommendation. This is what we got. Okay, I'm going to darken it even more like this. And my objective with this flower is to give it a sort of a silvery kind of look. So I'm going to darken it uh, quite considerably. Okay, for after, I'm going to merge it down now, and this is what we have in the meantime, the temporary result. So now I'm going to deactivate it, now I'm going to go one zone higher. So there are several kind of approaches with the microphone adjustments, you can either take a few samples and then go with that specific tonal value and then target those tonal values only. But in this case, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm just going to start with one of the darker zones. In this case, that was zone one, because if I'm going for zone zero, then I will target the, the background, and I don't want to darken that even more, because it's already dark enough. So what I'm going to do is start with zone one, which I already did. So now I'm going to go with the uh, zone two, and, and then try to target all those areas, except for the mid-tones, because that is a little bit too global. So I'm going to skip that, but I'm going to go with all the other tonal uh, zones. So now I've activated zone 2 and 3, and I'm going to roughly select it again like this. And then medium darken. You see that? That's quite a change. And again, I want to go for a sort of silvery look of the flower. I'm going to target this part only. Again, with medium darken. Okay, now this part is getting too dark to my taste I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit like this so I can stay within the same tonal zone now go with medium lighten okay it's a little bit lighter yeah so I'm going to go even lighter just select it again medium lighten again okay so this should be good I'm going to merge it down a few layers just to reduce the file size Okay, like this and this is the temporary result this is before this is after so what I'm going to do now is to go deactivate this and then go a zone dar a lighter but I'm going to skip the midtones like I already said so I'm going to go with the dark lights activate this and now I want to darken those areas just a little bit more because it's a little bit too light to my taste as so I'm going to darken them go with medium darken again Hopefully that's not too dark. No, that's quite okay. Can even do it again. So here we go. Just select that area roughly. Go with medium darken again. Mm, that's better. Even more. So now I'm going to do this. And then again medium darken. Hopefully this is not too dark now. Oh, I think it's quite good. So now I'm going to deactivate that. And let me check if they're deactivated. Yes, they are, because the alpha channels are gone. So now I'm going to merge it down again, a few layers. But I always keep the, the second layer. So always merge down like that. So I can compare the before and after. So this is the before and after, temporary before and after. This is what I have right now. I'm going to try to work with the mid lights now. So go activate it. Now I'm going to enhance the. Uh, the mid lights instead of darkening them I'm going to enhance them 
what it is in good black and white photography is that you always should be aiming for a good selective contrast not a global contrast but a selective contrast and with selective contrast i mean that the eyes of the viewer should be directed toward a specific area in your photograph and the eyes of the viewers will always be moving toward the area in the photograph with the highest contrast and also with the brightest light so it's a combination of bright light and highest contrast in one specific area which will be the area in the photograph where the viewer will be automatically directed to so i'm going to aim for this specific area over here that should be the, the center of my image and of course the rest is also important but you should always try to aim for one specific area in your object in this case the, the flower where you want the viewer to look at and this is going to be my main part of the, of the flower so i'm going to lighten this up now i've already activated the zone so i'm going to medium lighten it okay it's a little bit lighter yeah i'm going to lighten this up as well the specific area medium lighten let me see if that has some effect well it's a very subtle effect okay i'm going to merge it down i'm going to deactivate it again one merge down more and i'm going to do before and after okay so now i'm going to go with the highlights to the brightest highlights I'm going to activate it I'm not sure if there are any bright highlights. I could have taken a few samples, but since this is uh, faster, I'm going to just select it. And there are always uh, some of those uh, tonal values that are in this specific zone. Let's check here. Yeah. Go to medium lighten again. Okay. So if there were any tonal values in that specific area, then at least they have been lightened up. So now I'm going to deactivate it. And now I'm going to try to darken this a little bit more over here. So those are in 60-50. So let me go with the uh, light shadows first. So activate it. So I want to give it a little bit more presence. A little bit more depth. So I'm going to medium darken it again. Okay. Now I'm going to darken this too with the same total zone. Okay. See some darkening in there. And I'm going to darken even more. Like this. Okay. Watch it down. And let me see before and after. Yep, and this is the complete before and after, for now at least. I want to darken those even more, so I'm going to select it again, like this. And I'm going to go with a medium darken again. Alright, so now here, uh, I'm going to deactivate it. This is also what I want to darken a little bit more, and I guess that's the, uh, in the dark lights. I'm going to start with that. Okay, so I'm going to darken this a little bit more. You can darken, okay. At the same time, I'm going to retrieve some of the details that I might have lost while trying to lighten it up. And here, a little bit more. You can darken. So you see now, if I would merge down the, the most recent adjustments with the total zone 6 and 7, so I'm going to merge down only those layers, so 6, 7 there. And then you'll see that, see that? That's the change with total 6, 7, sorry, total zone 6, 7. Again, I'm going to zoom in now. You can see what the effect is of the darkening with tunnel zone 6, 7. You can see the, all the details in there. So what's the overall impression? I'm going to zoom out now. I think I like it to be even darker here as well. So I'm going to darken this area there. Like that. I'm going to go with medium darken as well. Okay. It's darker. Before and after and now I'm going to deactivate it now I'm going to go with the uh, mid lights activate it because I also want to darken some of those mid lights and I'm going to target this area again and I'll say medium darken okay that's darker now okay, even a little bit more so I'm going to target this whole area there medium darken again okay and i'm going to merge down the zone eight and nine only to see what the effect is so this is before and after i've darkened uh, the tonal values of zone eight and nine only so now i'm going to merge it down all the way to the second layer so this is the temporary before and after before and after and my goal was to get a sort of silvery look of the flower Okay, it looks a little bit, uh, it's coming close. I just want to darken those a little bit more and at the same time lighten up those lighter areas that you see there. So I'm going to guess, uh, for now I think it's going to be mid-light, so I'm going to target 
those lighter areas that you see in there. Try to lighten up the mid lights, and if that's not going to work, I'm going to go so darker. Not much, I'm going to deactivate it. I'm going to go with the uh, uh, this one, light shadows, activate it because I'm not going to go with the midtone because that's too global and I want to make very I want to make more precise adjustments than just global adjustments. So I'm gonna have deactivated or activated that specific zone, so I'm going to target that, medium lighten. Oh that's quite good actually. Get there. Okay. But I want these areas over there to stay dark. So I'm going to darken that area. Okay. Now this is going to be a little bit lighter. Medium lighter. Okay. So now I'm going to deactivate it. And I think I want to make this just a little bit darker again. So going back to, I think, dark lights. Activate. This is going to be one of my final adjustments. Medium darker. Okay like it a little bit more here even darken all right so these are the this is the effect of the final changes there so now i'm going to merge them all down and then i'm going to check if i need to add a few more adjustments or not and for that i'm going to zoom out again and remember that's the same as squinting your eyes you can get a better impression of how the distribution of contrast is in your photo so i'm going to zoom out now so now you see that how the actual contrast is in the photo and you see that here is the brightest light so the eyes of the viewer will always go there there's quite a lot of contrast as well in this area and also the, the eyes of the viewer will also go there but it will first go here and then it can enjoy the beautiful tones and details in, in that part of the photograph so i think i like it it's a sort of sultry looking feel and look and feel so I need to deactivate the redundant uh, channels, but maybe I'm going to add a few more highlights over here. And I'm going to do that with the mid lights, just to make it even more attractive. So I'm going to go with this part only. Okay, and then say medium lighten. You see if that resulted in any change. Yes, but it's very subtle. So I'm going to do it again like this. So medium lighten. Okay. You can see it better if I merge it down one layer and now, yes, there is definitely some effect. Okay, I like this. Uh, I'm going to go with this. I've already deactivated it. No, not yet. So I'm going to do that. So now what I'm going to do is hit merge it down all the way. This is before. This is after. And now I'm going to add a split toning and I'll always like to do that. It's my personal choice to do that. And I think I'm going to go with to the Mystic. One of my favorite split tones. And I'm going to go all the way to something like this. Apply. And this before and after split toning. Before and after. It has a, sort of a warmer look. And I really like the effect. Merge it down. So this before. And this is after. And again zoom out to get the overall impression. And then once again zoom in. And I like, uh, I like the look of the photo. So this was the uh, video number 10 with the uh, demonstration with the still life uh, flowers and black and white artisan pro panel. Next time I'm going to do another landscape, perhaps an architectural photograph. That's going to be in one week from now. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.